as African writers without borders who are connected beyond geography with those who live in the United States of America and other parts of the African diaspora. We state that we condemn the acts of violence on black people in the United States of America. We note in dismay that what Malcolm X said in Ghana in 1964, that, quote, for the 20 million of us in America who are of African descent, it's not an American dream, it's an American nightmare, end quote, remains true for 37 million in 2020. We condemn the murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Sandra Bland, Amadou Diallo, Ahmed Arbery, Ayanna Monet, Stanley Jones, Tony McDade, Pamela Turner, Matthew Ajibade, Rakia Boyd, Eric Gardner, John Crawford III, Michael Brown, Shelley Frey, Azelu Ford, Dante Parker, Michelle Casso, Yvette Smith, Darnisha Harris, Laquan McDonald, Atatiana Jefferson, George Mann, Tanisha Anderson, Akai Gurley, Tamir Rice, Romaine Brisbane, Jerome Reed, Frank Smart, Natasha McKenna, Tony Robinson, Anthony Hill, William Chapman II, Alberta Spruill, Walter Scott, Chantel Davis, Eric Harris, Philip White, Maya Hall, Alexia Christian, Brendan Glenn, Victor Manuel La Rosa, Jonathan Sanders, Salvador Ellswood, Joseph Mann, Freddie Blue, Albert Joseph Davis, Darius Stewart, Billy Ray Davis, Samuel DeBose, Troy Robinson, Christian Taylor, Sean Bell, Brian Keith Day, Michael Sabi, Ashams Farrell Manley, Felix Kumi, Keith Harrison McLeod, Junior Prosper, Anthony Ashford, Dominic Hutchinson, Patterson Brown, Lamontez Jones, Betty Jones, Alonzo Smith, Tyree Crawford, India Kager, Janet Wilson, Sylville Smith, Benny Lee Tignor, Yvonne Smallwood, Kayla Moore, and all other names, known and unknown, that represent human beings who are our kin, our blood. We support the protests in the United States and across the world as our people demand justice for any and all racial killings, whether by police or civilians. We are aware that these are not quiet protests. We do not expect it, and neither should the United States of America. The killings were not done quietly. The police brutality and state-sanctioned murders were done loudly, with no fear of consequences from those who perpetuated them. We acknowledge the African Union's condemnation of the United States government's continual terrorism towards African Americans. We believe that the African Union can and should do better. We ask that African governments recognize our alliance and connections with our brothers and sisters across borders, from America to Brazil and through the rest of the diaspora, that they offer those who choose it refuge, homes, and citizenship in the name of Pan-Africanism. We demand that the American legal institutions independently investigate every police killing as well as investigate any complaint against police violence. We demand that any accused be suspended without pay until a fair trial clears them of charges. In essence, we are asking the United States of America to be brave enough to adhere to its own Bill of Rights so that it can be the land of the free for all Americans, regardless of color, creed, or sexual orientation. We assert that black lives matter. 
As writers, we raise our fists in solidarity with those who refuse to be silenced. To our brothers and sisters in the United States, we stand with you. We ask all decent human beings to join us in being our brothers and sisters keepers. As they protest in the United States, please give whatever donations you can to Black Lives Matter.